Spinal Manipulation Therapy, a treatment for musculoskeletal pain. Hi, my name is John, and I'm here to give you a quick overview of what you can do if you've been experiencing musculoskeletal or MSK pain for a long time. The terms musculoskeletal and neuromusculoskeletal pain are often used interchangeably. Musculoskeletal pain is caused by a mechanical injury directly to muscles, bones, joints, and other soft and connective tissue. Meanwhile, neuromusculoskeletal pain specifically involves changes with the nervous system subsequent to an injury, illness, or other causes that result in pain being felt within muscles and bones. Neuromusculoskeletal pain may be associated with a wide range of disorders that impact your musculoskeletal system. For the purposes of this video, we'll simplify these terms by using the terms musculoskeletal pain and pain in general to refer to all forms of pain felt within the musculoskeletal system. Pain, and especially chronic pain, is frustrating and debilitating. Yet many people cope by sleeping on it or taking medication that gives them temporary relief but doesn't treat the root cause of the pain. This can lead to more issues, including problems with daily life, work, and even mental health. Fortunately, there are effective solutions to manage and treat chronic pain. To best understand these solutions, let's start by considering how chronic pain can develop in the human body through a process known as central sensitization. Chronic pain often begins with acute pain from an injury that's left untreated. Let's use Bob as an example. Bob injured his back while lifting a heavy box. He felt immediate pain because the nerves in the injured muscle sent a pain signal to his spine, where information is processed and relayed to the brain to create the sensation of pain. This immediate perception of pain is known as acute pain, which can then manifest into chronic pain if Bob doesn't take immediate and appropriate action. When the spine is bombarded with pain signals for a long time, a state of central sensitization can develop. This is a state of hypersensitivity of neurons within the central nervous system. When neurons in the spinal cord become so used to receiving pain signals from an injured muscle, they can actually adapt their state to receive and transmit pain signals more easily. Once Bob's spine has become sensitized, even a gentle pat on the back can become painful. Central sensitization can also lead to a state of chronic inflammation through a process known as neurogenic inflammation. Neurogenic inflammation often results from sensitized nerves, which release inflammatory chemicals into the peripheral muscles that they supply. This process can even spread to muscles that were not originally injured if the nerves supplying these muscles are linked to the original sensitized neurons. These inflammatory chemicals can then activate pain signals within the muscles that they're released in, contributing to the development of chronic pain. For example, Bob's back injury may be due to a muscle located in his lower back that is supplied by nerves originating from a specific area of the spine or spinal segment that also contains nerves supplying its hip and knee muscles. If Bob's low back injury sensitizes this area of his spinal cord, it can further lead to the release of inflammatory chemicals within the hip and knee muscles that are neurologically connected even though the hip and knee muscles weren't previously injured. For Bob, this could mean ongoing chronic pain in these areas, as well as the development of osteoarthritis in the long term. In fact, lower back pain is the most prevalent chronic musculoskeletal pain condition worldwide, with up to 20% of people presenting with acute low back pain actually developing chronic low back pain down the road. Emerging research even suggests that neurogenic inflammation may not just occur in muscles supplied by nerves in a sensitized spinal segment, but also in organs supplied by that segment, creating something termed visceral pain or internal painful sensations. Despite how overwhelming this process of chronic pain can feel, there is fortunately someone who understands it and can help. If you experience musculoskeletal pain, discomfort, or stiffness for more than a few days, the first step is to get a diagnosis from an expert. A chiropractor can help diagnose the root cause of your pain and treat it. They are experts in chronic pain diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. To treat musculoskeletal pain, chiropractors typically use spinal manipulation therapy, which is commonly known as a spinal adjustment. A spinal adjustment is a therapeutic technique used to apply a controlled thrust to a patient's spine. 
It's safe and effective when delivered by a chiropractor. It functions to relieve pressure on the joints, improve nerve function, and reduce inflammation in the spine by improving joint mobility. It can also decrease spinal sensitization and therefore pain. How does this happen? When a chiropractor delivers a spinal adjustment, specialized sensory nerves in the manipulated joint and muscles are activated, which then block pain signals from the pain fibers. Collectively, these effects contribute to reducing discomfort, stiffness, and chronic pain in the body. Your chiropractor will also often recommend lifestyle changes that include exercise, diet, and advice on your posture as part of your ongoing self-care plan in addition to an adjustment. In conclusion, make sure to get proper care from the start to avoid chronic pain. Take care of yourself if you experience any pain by including a chiropractor in your circle of care. They can help assess and diagnose your pain, develop a personalized care plan, and communicate with other healthcare professionals like your family practitioner. For more information on this work and the evidence that supports it, please visit the link on the screen. Thanks for listening.